What's going on guys, this is Warchade here, and we are back with episode 18 in our playthrough of Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. Last episode, we got the Aurora set, we made our way over from the area just over there where my character is facing, over down through here, up this ladder, and we'll eventually, eventually be progressing that away. So we broke all these poison statues through these doors, they're locked. Oh, these are the doors you need that special key for. Okay, yeah, that's right. They have all this, en this encryption on them. Yeah, there's uh, I forgot what the name it is, but it unlocks like a few doors. But anyway, behind there, um, if you're watching this and you're using it to uh, find the items, you just need that key. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure. So I think it's like called like the lost key or something or the undead key or something like that. But anyway, the hovel set is right through them doors. We can't use that set anyway right now, but for PvP builds, definitely a must, especially if you're doing more of a tank build, uh, which I am personally a fan of, just because it allows you to take hits that you normally wouldn't be able to take. So we will move on. Um, nothing over here, we'll jump down. Nothing over here. Just want to make sure I check all the areas. What was that? No. No uh, no ambushes. Not a fan. See, now you got to be careful right here. Because I believe if you walk out too far on some of these ledges, they actually break. And we don't want that. So we got our Rotten Resin and a Dark Pyro Flame, which is pretty much useless. The only way... Yeah, they, yeah, see, like, they added all of these because that dog's going to run over here and break them all. I'm not about that. <clears throat> we're going to gonna break them with some fire bombs here. But like I said, the dark the dark pyro flame scales with hollowing. I know, that's kind of a weird, weird concept. And, uh, like, you have to be, um what's called, like, I think it's called a wretch, and that's where you've killed, like, you have to kill, like, four or five or six NPCs, um, and then there's an area in your menu, which, uh, if I can find it, I'll show you, where you go, and it basically tells you, and once you're a wretch, um, you can actually hollow below 50%, which the game's preset at, um, you know how every, every time you die, you will, uh, you hollow a bit, I believe it's, like, 5%, um, and eventually you'll get to 50% and then you won't hollow anymore. But um, if you kill a bunch of NPCs, the game labels you as a wretch, I believe. And then you can actually hollow all the way down to 5% health. Which is basically the size of um, that little like emblem thing, that little emblem cap that's on your health bar. Um, and at that point, the dark pyro flame does a little bit more damage than a regular pyro flame uh, plus 10 but in my opinion, that is not worth it at all, because at that level of health, anything hits you, you're going to die. Um, yeah, and it's just, it's not worth it. I really don't know why they put that in the game. Um, I guess it's, they tried to mimic the Dark Hand from Dark Souls 1, but they didn't really do a good job, because the Dark Hand worked when you had normal health and... Yeah. I mean, that's good if you're doing if you're doing a challenge run, like a 5% health run. I know there's challenge runs out there where they'll start off with 5% health and go through the whole game like that. Then the Dark Hand's viable because it's very strong. It is stronger than the plus 10 Pyro Hand. So that's a spot you could use it. But for me, no thanks. I am not that good at this game. I'm good, but I'm not that good. As you've seen already, I can become pretty scrubby pretty quick. Especially in an area like this. It's got that Blight Town troll feel to it. You're dying every five seconds to stupid shit. Like right here. I remember I was doing actually... What was it? The uh, I was trying to do a no death run. Which I've tried probably 12 times and gave up when I finally almost went insane. Um, but I was trying to do a no death run. I don't think there's nowhere I can jump. Okay, I'm just check I was just checking to see if there's a way I can jump down there. But anyway, I was doing a no death run. And on this bridge right here. 
right here, this bridge right here. They took it out with Scholar, but there used to be one of those exploding guys that was standing like, he'd stand right here in the dark where you couldn't see him. I was running across the bridge, and I ran into a hollow that pulls himself up from the side here. I hit him twice, killed him. The exploding guy came out. I was like, oh shit. Started running, and he blew me right off the edge. And normally that would be like, oh, uh, blah, 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 respond to the bonfire, keep going. But it was a no-death run. And I had just died. And, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? And another time it happened up here on this bridge. Yeah. That, uh, that happened. It's an amazing shock when that happens. You're like, I can't believe that's what I died to. Because in a known death run, you expect to die to bosses, big enemies, uh, choke points in the game where, you know, like a notorious choke point. Like, I don't know, maybe right before you enter Dranglet Castle, that's kind of a notorious choke point, notorious for being kind of challenging, especially NG+, Plus when that brutal fucking phantoms there with that Drake Keeper's Great Hammer that just shreds you. But no. Pretty much died to gravity. Died to gravity. Alright, now I'm not gonna die right here. We're gonna Shrek this dog. Oh shit. But anyway, no death runs, they're not easy. Not easy at all. One of the uh, one of the Dark Souls content creators that I watch on Twitch a lot, Lobos Jr., some of you may have heard of him. He actually did a no death run, eventually was successful. He's a master, master at sp uh, challenging speedruns, the best I've ever seen. Um, I know there are people out there that can speedrun the game faster than him, but he, he does challenge runs that would just make you lose your mind. And he attempted the no-death run. Like I said, he was eventually successful at. I believe it took him like three or four tries, uh, which is very good. And he, uh, I think all three times that he died, he had gotten halfway through the Shrine of Amana, which is like 75% through the game, um, depending on if you're doing 100% or not. He was not. So he was almost done, and he died three times in a row at the shrine. Yeah, that's painful. I didn't even make it that far in my father's attempt, but I probably would have cried. Alright, where the hell am I going here? I, I think I can just go through the fog reverse. Because I'm trying to get up to the ledge where the wicked eye shield is. Yep, instant poisoned always? No, wow, usually I'm poisoned there. Especially with the shit adaptability that I have. Now that ledge there is where we got the Aurora set. Just down there is the Hade Knight in the chest. Just to give you a bearing of where we are. Second Bonfire Rue. In case we, uh, we die, which is probably going to happen. Alright, now that's the ladder I usually go down to just when I'm doing the speedrun strat. I just slide down there. Bounce over the ledge that's at the bottom. Grab the packet, go through the fog gate, and then you're at the, the next level of this area. Uh, the Black Gulch. But we are here to gather all the items. This is one of the areas where I, I like to gather all the items. Because as you can see, it's kind of a maze and it can be a pain to gather them all. So I assume just get them all now. That way I do not have to come back here at a later point. Just breaking some of these statues. Now all these ladders in this room go down. Some of them are more optimal than others. I think one or two of them lead to like a dead end. Traverse the mist from behind. It lets you know that you went the wrong way. Yeah, see, I need to be up there. Whoa, shit. Backstab the fuck out of you. Sit down, bitch. Backstabbing is such a badass motion. Turn turn your ass around, put this mace in your back. Okay, 
How do I how do I get over there? Okay, there's a bridge there. I need to take that bridge because if you see just above my torch flame there, off in the distance, that that little ledge up there, that's where the hovel set is, and that's where the wicked eye shield is. So I need to like backtrack a little bit. I believe we're on episode three of this area. Um I'm gonna set myself up to get that probably ending this episode. And then we'll try and get the rest of it done in the next episode. Because once I grab that, we're going to drop down and basically start the uh, the Black Gulch. Now this thing, at first, when I saw it, I walked in. I was like, la-da-da-da-da-da-da. Killing enemies, easy. Holy fuck, what is that turnaround? Basically sat out here for a minute or two and I was like... What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? What is that? It looks like it'll one-shot me. So I baited those guys out, those small guys, all the way out to here so I could kill them in safety. And then sat here shooting that with the bow. The health was not going down at all. As you see, it has a good amount of health. Did some research to find out what it was. And it's actually harmless. The, uh, the, the mist that is, it is excreting heals poison. So if you are poisoned and you are near here, you can run in here. If you kill it, it gives you mis minuscule souls. Looks kind of fucking freaky. Um, and it gives you some poison moss. The only downside is that stuff very, very, very slowly degrades equipment. So don't stand there all day. But anyways, harmless but freaky looking. Alright, I gotta see if there's a way... Is there a way? Yep, insta poisoned. Love it, love it, love it. Don't think I can get back there. Oh, I see. Instead of falling down like I did to there, I just have to go across there. Okay, this might be a. F I don't think I can jump that. Oh, I can. Cool, 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 cool. Question is, is there a ladder? I can, can I even get back up there? Uh, I don't think I can. No. No. I think I might have to warp. I think I might have to warp. Warp back to the first bonfire and... Go up there. See, that's one annoying thing about... Like, there should be a ladder right there. So you can jump. Alright, we're gonna age to feather out of here actually or we'll just die that works too plan to jump over there to get to the other bonfire but no worries we're just gonna set ourselves up to go grab this item and then in the next episode episode 19 yeah 19 we will finish up this area that'll be four episodes like I said and then we'll begin the next episode 20 over in uh, the Gulch, the Black Gulch. Conveniently warp. That's one thing about this game that I love. Uh, you can warp from the beginning uh, all the way to the end. Unlike Dark Souls 1 where it was halfway through the game you could warp, the first half you couldn't. And that made it when you died. You were like, oh my god. That took me three hours to get here, and I just died. So if you've only played this game, I highly recommend picking up the first one and experiencing that. Because you are not a true Dark Souls player until you have played the first one. After you play that game, you will come back to this game hugging and kissing the ability to warp in the beginning and life gems. Did I just make a mistake? Did I just make that mistake again? What the fuck? I think I did. Wow. Wow. Where's the age? Oh, I don't have it. I have to use a homer bone. Okay. Alright. 
yeah, I'm, I'm so used to having a home or uh, age feather because the other character that I have that I do uh, most of the PvP stuff, all the PvP stuff, um, to, exactly. I have an age feather, so I'm always used to having that. Anyway, we're at 15 minutes, so we're gonna end the video here. Next episode, we're gonna zoom over there, grab that shield, fall, free fall down to the bottom, grab some items down there, and then we will end that video. Getting ready to start the Black Gulch, moving on to kill the Rotten, and going on from there. So thanks for watching, guys. Like the video, uh, subscribe, and we will see you in the next episode.